dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. It was all a dream for this rapper. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of the notorious B.I.G. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Christopher George Latour Wallace was born May 21, 1972, in Brooklyn, New York. Wallace grew up in a rough neighborhood, but excelled in school and won several awards for his achievements in English. Due to his stature, he earned the nickname Big before his 10th birthday. Unfortunately, Wallace started selling drugs for easy money shortly thereafter, and this led to three arrests and nine months in jail. After his release, Biggie recorded a demo that got him signed to Bad Boy Records by producer Sean Puff Daddy Combs. Biggie then appeared on two successful Mary J. Blige remixes, which he followed with more remixes and guest appearances with hip-hop heavyweights like LL Cool J and Busta Rhymes. Is mad, I get more butt than ass trains. When I get mine the fast way. Finally, the Notorious B.I.G.'s first solo single, Party and Bullshit, was released in 1993 on the Who's the Man movie soundtrack. Biggie's autobiographical lyrics drew on his experiences selling drugs, growing up poor, dealing with women, and living in a violent neighborhood. What he lacked in formal education, he made up for with street smarts, and he was able to paint lifelike pictures without a fancy vocabulary. As his career took off, so did his love life. Biggie met and married R&B singer Faith Evans in 1994. So we can cruise the world with pearls, get a boost for girls. Uh -huh. Though they eventually had one son, Christopher Wallace Jr., the two had a tumultuous marriage filled with affairs, including a relationship between Biggie and fellow rapper Lil' Kim. Also in 1994, he released his critically and commercially praised debut album, Ready to Die. On that release, Biggie moved from the deep, smooth flow of tracks like One More Chance to the vivid stories of songs like Juicy to the ladies' man lyrics of singles like Big Papa. The record eventually sold over 4 million copies. After establishing himself as a solo star, Biggie focused on his rap group, Junior Mafia. The group consisted of his childhood friends and Lil' Kim, and their 1995 album Conspiracy was a commercial success. It also helped launch Lil' Kim's successful solo career. Biggie's career was reaching unseen heights. He even collaborated with Michael Jackson and became the only artist to appear on two separate MJ albums. I got problems of my own, flashing cameras, texts on my phone. Following these successes, the notorious B.I.G. graced the covers of magazines and won numerous awards. However, around this time, a rift formed between him and former friend-turned-rival Tupac Shakur. Recording of Biggie's second album began in late 1995. Sessions were interrupted by the high-profile East Coast-West Coast rivalry, by Biggie's two arrests on harassment, drug and weapons charges, and by a car accident that left him walking with a cane. The rivalry came to a head in September 1996 when Tupac was shot and killed in a drive-by. The next year, Biggie hoped to make peace between the two coasts when he traveled to California to promote his album, Life After Death, and its lead single, Hypnotize. I can see you with real his reception was mixed, but on March 9, 1997, as he was leaving a Soul Train Awards after party in LA, he was shot and killed in the passenger seat of his SUV while stopped at a red light. Just over two weeks after his death, the Notorious B.I.G.'s second album was released. It hit number one on the Billboard 200 chart and was an even bigger success than his debut. The effort featured more collaborations as well, with artists like Puff Daddy, Mace and Lil' Kim. 
Biggie became the first artist to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 posthumously with his single Mo Money, Mo Problems, and this song proved to be his biggest chart success. Two months later, his close friend and frequent collaborator Puff Daddy released the tribute single I'll Be Missing You with help from Faith Evans and R&B group 112. The song debuted at number one and remained there for an astounding 11 weeks in addition to winning a Grammy Award. In the years that followed, two additional Biggie albums were released. 1999's Born Again debuted at number one on Billboard and 2005's Duets, The Final Chapter, debuted at number three. The notorious B.I.G.'s murder was never solved but it prompted many conspiracy theories. Some of the most publicized theories pointed to former Death Row record CEO Suge Knight, in addition to a plot involving the LAPD. In 2009, the biopic Notorious was released. It recounted the story of how Biggie became one of the most influential voices in hip-hop and featured his real-life son playing a young Christopher Wallace. Proving the rapper still had drawing power, the movie grossed $43 million worldwide. Yesterday you said I was going to end up a garbage man. That's right. If you keep cutting class, it's exactly what you'll become. But I found out a teacher makes 24 thousand a year and the garbage man makes 28 thousand a year I'm gonna make four thousand dollars more than his dumb ass <laughs> Even years after his death, the notorious B.I.G. is known for his unparalleled style, charisma, lyrical flow, and wordplay. And if you don't know, now you know. That's real, yo. I ain't exaggerating at all, man. The more money you make, the more problems you get.